Hello, everyone. Today, I'm excited to introduce my new project, a web app that allows users to generate an entire movie. The app features an intuitive interface where you can upload your own script or story, break it down into scenes and shots, and generate corresponding images. For this demonstration, I'll generate a random story. Let's create a five-minute web series episode in English, set in the future. You can choose any duration, but five minutes keeps it concise. I'll select a blockbuster orange-teal color scheme and an anime style, though you can customize these. Options. For the title, if you're unsure, you can click Surprise Me. The first suggestion was a glitch in the system, but I'll try again and settle on Static Bloom. Next, I'll generate the screenplay. The app creates a complete script for the five-minute video, analyzing it to produce a structured story breakdown. It's currently generating the story, dividing it into sections or blocks. Once complete, you'll see the full screenplay, including character details and locations. You can add new characters or locations as needed. For example, I can add a new character, and the app will generate one automatically. The app also defines the visual mood, which is useful for creating a pitch deck to clarify the story's tone. For the characters, I'll generate a photorealistic image to preview their appearance. The result is somewhat anime-inspired, reflecting the selected style, though it may blend elements due to the volume of content. Now, let's explore locations and props. You can add more props from the interface. Next, I'll review the scene list, which includes six scenes. Selecting all scenes and generating shots could produce 40 to 50 shots, but that might overload the system due to token limits. Instead, I'll generate shots for two scenes resulting in about 12 shots. The process takes a moment, but once complete, you'll see the shots listed under each scene. These shots include prompts for generating videos or images. For example, I'll select three prompts, one for the main character, another for the character, typing, and a third from a different angle. The prompts maintain consistency in style and cinematic quality. However, the images, generated by Gemini 2.0, may vary slightly in style. To address this, I'll regenerate the images to align more closely with the anime aesthetic. If the base image isn't ideal, I can remove it and regenerate to ensure consistency. After adjusting, the new images better match the desired cartoon-like design. These images are generated quickly, so they may not be suitable for video production, but the prompts are robust. For better results, I can copy a prompt into a tool like Hello AI or Google Image FX. Using the same seed ID ensures high-quality, consistent output. The app also supports additional features, such as exporting prompts to an Excel file or using a prompt assistant to refine them. You can add more characters or scenes, and the app will update the screenplay accordingly. For example, I'll generate an image for a character named Renata Volkov and expand the screenplay by adding more scenes. Note that adding new scenes may require regenerating some elements to maintain consistency. This web app streamlines movie creation, making it fast and productive. You can generate prompts, use them in a video editor, or create animations with tools like Hailway Yoki, Kling AI, Vidu AI. Once complete, I'll launch the app online for everyone to test and enjoy. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for updates. We have a YouTube channel where you can follow us for free tutorials like this. We explore video generation with ChatGPT, various platforms, and AI tools. Plenty of options to check out. We also have a Patreon where you can access free GPTs, prompts, and exclusive content not shared on YouTube or social media. Plus, we run a social network where you can sign up, upload content, hide it, or get paid subscribers. It even has a small prompt marketplace where you can sell your prompts. Lots of artists upload daily there, 
We also have a Facebook group where members share great prompts. Tons of people are active there too. That's all for today. Bye-bye.